step two is putting in the jump wires. The jump wires are what connect all of the different parts. And so I start off with those. So the very first one will be a white jump wire. The white jump wire will go from E3 to the positive track. Here we have the breadboard. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the breadboard. Not only are the, is the breadboard alphabetized across the top and numbered down this column, on the edge you have a positive and negative. Positive and negative. What we're going to do to keep this easy is we're going to put all of our negative into this side. And all of our positive are going to go over here. That way it'll be easy to build. So, the very first thing is a white jump wire from E3 to the positive. So, we simply go E123, and then it needs to jump all the way over here to the positive. So you can push those into place quite easily. And I tell you, sometimes it'll help just to use a little pair of pliers to get them in. Easily get them into place. So here we go. There's the first jump wire. As long as it gets to the positive channel, this whole positive channel is connected. So any of these will do. You just get it over there. So as long as we got E3 over to this positive, that's correct. The very next one is a gray. Gray is going to go from C3 to C11. So here's a gray jump wire, and we're going from C3 to C11. So there's C3, and down here is C11. So if I go from C3, and I punch this in all the way down here at C11, it'll fit into place really nicely. Now, what we've done is that 1, 2, 3, 4, that's pin 4, it's connected now because this channel here, pin 4 is now connected to positive. That's how the breadboard works. You don't really need to know that. As long as you follow your instructions, you'll be fine. But just so you know, that that's how we've connected pin 4 to the positive. Next, we have a little red. These little teeny red jump wires. It needs to go to A8 to the negative, to the ground. So, A8 is right there. Now we need to go into the negative. And I'm going to use my pliers once again just to help me get it there. A8 to the negative. There we go. And I can push that into place. And after that we have another red. That's going to be J8 to positive. So we come down here. There's J. There's 8. We need to go to positive. Push those into place and use my needle nose to force it in there. And there it is. So technically what we've done with those is that this red jump wire has connected pin one to ground. This jump wire has connected pin eight to the positive. Now we have a blue jump wire. The blue jump wire is going to go from D9 to D15. So first we find D9. D9 is right here by pin 2. And we're going to go to D15. All the way down there. Push those right into place. That one goes in easy. Don't need the pliers at all. Now we need an orange jump wire. The orange jump wire is going to go from E15 to F15. And that jumps this little gap. So here's right here, E15 to F15, this little orange wire will go across this gap. See how the breadboard has this gap that the, the timer bridges? Now this one crosses there. Now we have a green. Green is going to go to G10 to G15. So G10 all the way down to G15. Put that into place. 
And just so you know, I'll show you what the blue, orange, and green jump wires do. They're connecting pin 2, going down here, to here, up here, to pin 6. So pin 2 to pin 6 is covered by those three jump wires there. All right. Now, after the green one, we have one left. Right here, the white. This last white goes from F17 to ground. So F17 is right there. So we have F17. And that's going to go to the ground, which is over here. So that needs to go there. Push those into place. And if you want to force them in all the way, you can kind of use the tip of your needle nose and just push them down like that. So there. That's the basic jump wire configuration 